Hey going, Hatless Chimp here. I've got another video for you guys. And this is my home theater that is getting built at the moment. This is the entrance to it. And this is like a little segue uh, section where there's gonna be a Blu-ray shelve in here. We're gonna have the AV rack that fits into here. This is like the AV rack closet. And the networking's gonna go here as well. Got all the, well, we've got some of the cutouts cut for the power. Still got the HDMI. We've still got the speaker cables that come through somewhere there. <laughs> and, and that's just double doors there. We'll have to see how that looks. I might have to modify them after down the track. And here's some black paint on the ground. <laughs> My builder like flipped out totally when I told him I wanted to paint this wall black, this ceiling black. When I told him the ceiling, I think that's when he's like jaw dropped totally. He's like, are you serious? So there's cutouts. These cutouts are for the air vents. But that's not too far off. The sort of cutout that I'm going to need, that's quite a rough cutout. Uh, the cutout that I'm going to need for the four Atmos speakers in the roof. So I've got one roughly right there in the middle of the screen at the moment. And I've got another one that's going to go in between the two air vents there. And as you can see here on the ground, right there, that cross, X marks the spot for one of the speakers. There's another one of the Atmos speakers there, so directly above that point is where they're going to get a hole cut in the ceiling. So there's another one there, SP stands for speaker. There's another SP. And, you know, on the floor again, we've got some other things like data, so that tells me how high up it is. So we've got 300, that's, I've got subs there, so um, sub points. And up here, that's, so the projector is going to go obviously up here at the back. I'm going to enclose this window somehow, whether it's boarded up and, um, you know, put some sort of rock wall between it and the window. Um, up here, I might make a hush box for the projector. And in the walls, I've, I've if you didn't already know, I've wired in for 9.4.4. What does that mean? Well, that's um, nine speakers on the deck. So right here, there's gonna be a front wide. There is no front wide at the moment for in the AV market from 2016 onwards. That may change, so future proof. We're gonna have a surround here. A surround back here, another surround back here, a surround, a front wide, just here, and then at the front we've got the LCR, left, centre, right, and then like I said before, the four Atmos. And it's not hard if they go if they go six Atmos in the future. Oh god, I might tripped over. Um, it's not hard to add in another Atmos speaker. It may be, it comes this side of the air vent. I can't remember, I think the square one's the air con, the heat is the round one. Yeah. Um, things that I'm thinking about for the future. Um, I did have a plan to have a bulkhead. I'm not gonna do that at the moment. I've got no money, I'm broke. Spent it all on the projector. <laughs> Spent all the projectors, spent it all on the AV rack, or spent it all on the bloody power amp. Yeah, the, the power amps. So, yeah, Rotel 1585 isn't cheap. Um, what else to say? I've got two subs points here. The front, another one here, you can't see it. It's under the paint. Thank you, Mr. Painter. And what else we got? I'm gonna build this out. I'm gonna build out false walls. So this is painted black. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's just what they do. People paint black behind a 
acoustically transparent screen so there's no reflections and all that sort of thing. Um, the only thing you could probably say that's a bit weird is at the moment my skirting is going to be a gloss white, gloss polar white. Um, I was talking to my painter about that and he said it's good to have some definition between the carpet, the grey charcoal painted wall, that's going to be grey char charcoal painted wall, and the black ceiling. So just something to break it up. So, and over here, this is going to be a white, a white wall to start with. I mean, white wall, a white door to start with, and yeah, it's a white door. <laughs> it's a white gloss door, and I'm going to be sitting right here. The projector is going to be shining there, and that's going to light up bright colors um, the rest of the paint is like a it's like a mat so don't touch it you don't want to touch it because if you do touch it watch this don't tell don't tell the painter you see that <laughs> no, it's hard to see the, the wall actually looks like it yeah the, the camera's tripping out once you get close but it's black. I've got new black paint coming. Apparently it's blacker again. It's fully black pigments from the factory. There's no tint and it's going to be a lot better again. It's apparently, also it's very hard to roll black paint. I don't know if you can see it there. Very dark colors are hard to roll apparently, especially for ceilings and, and that. So I think he's going to try and spray it this time. So we'll see how that goes. But honestly, once, once these walls are charcoal and you've got this black ceiling here, it's night time, you've got blinds here, that's, the blinds are shut and you've got this door shut and the other door shut and you've got an AV rack here and them doors are shut. It's gonna be a bat cave. All right, and I don't think you're going to see any imperfections in the paint once it's like that. Now the grand, the grand plan going forward is I want to put some sort of starlight system in here, LED starlight. It's fucking sick. But I also want the bulkhead. Um, so doing them sort of things, carpentry, repainting stuff, and you've already fully decked out the room. It, it gets a bit difficult. You've got to watch what you're doing. Otherwise you're going to be relaying carpet. So I've had to weigh that up and I've just got no money left. So let's just get the place up and running, live in it, see what I like. And I might go, you know what? I don't really need to waste money in aesthetics. Let's sound treat the room a lot better. So when I say that, I'm looking at maybe running carpets along the side here and at the back, carpets, what is carpets? God, what was I thinking carpets? I said carpets before. No, curtains, curtains. I'm gonna run curtains around here and at the back, all the way here and down. And then the curtain, is going to cover this door. So that's going to do two things. It's going to stop that reflection from the screen, the projector, and it's going to help with that first um, acoustic, um, the sound waves coming from the left and the right speakers, center speaker bouncing off the walls and, and that door. So yeah, that's going to help. <laughs> And uh, the other thing is, that's a solid core door and I've got some special little stuff that's going to go down there, help seal it, seal around it as well in there, so that will help. Is it going to be the silver bullet? No, it's not. Sound's still going to get out. My 18 inch Marty Sub and its little brother 
are gonna escape. This shit is gonna be fucking vibrating. This shit will be vibrating. I'm gonna have to make sure these vents don't fall and hit someone. I'm gonna have to make sure this speaker up here, this speaker here, and these two, these two Atmos speakers over here don't fall out and fucking kill someone. Yeah? <laughs> Talk about a 4D movie. Anyway, so, um, things I'll do again if I was to do it again, I wouldn't put a PowerPoint there. I wouldn't put a PowerPoint over here. Why is there two PowerPoints right there? Sparky said, you should have a PowerPoint there. You should have one over here. Yeah, okay, there's another 200 bucks for each point. <laughs> anyway, anyway, he's a good lad. Love him to bits. But I have to start getting serious. Start cutting out all these little bits and pieces. I should have done them already. And uh, yeah, I've just been too busy making videos for you. So you better like this. I hope you like it. Um, you know, it's a bit ad hoc. I just thought I'd better do this. Keep everyone in the loop. And um, you know, I want to do more of these as well. I've got a ton of photos. I've got a ton of photos from before this stage. I'm going to make them into videos as well for you and fully document it. Um, and you know, just little things like making this, oh, that's better for sound. Um, like making this shelving for the Blu-rays and that. Like I've got like 600 Blu-rays in 4K video, you know, so it's discs. So I need to put them somewhere. <laughs> you know, we don't have the good, the good internets and that here in Australia, we suck. So anyone who says, Oh, look at PlayStation, PlayStation 4 Pro. Oh, fully sick, bro. Oh, you don't need a UHD disk drive. Nah, you can just stream that shit. Not everyone's got good internet, mate. You know, Mr. Sony, get with it, mate. But shit, you, your games do look, <laughs> look pretty good in 4K. You might convert some PC games, I should say. Anyway, that's it, that's a wrap, and Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, share this shit. I don't know. And um, I look forward to doing more videos from in here when, once I move in. So, cheers. Peace. Bye.